What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today, Infinity Ward announced a ton of new changes they're making to the multiplayer and infected modes of Call of Duty Ghosts. There is a ton of stuff here. I'm gonna go through all of it, including the weapon balancing, the spawn changes, squad points, operations, infected, new game modes, everything. So sit back, relax, enjoy the gameplay, and let's get into it. A lot has been said about the current spawn system in Call of Duty Ghosts. A lot of people aren't happy with it. Well, Infinity Ward apparently is listening. They're not only going to fix the bugs in the current spawn system, but they're working on a new system based off the player data that they've seen in the last five weeks of play that will really improve the situation. Uh, they're working very hard on this apparently and should have it ready very, very soon. Uh, this makes me very happy. I think of all the complaints I have about Call of Duty Ghosts, the spawns, uh, people spawning right behind me or me spawning right behind somebody else who just killed me. Uh, these are big issues and I'm really looking forward to seeing these get fixed in a hurry. They went on to talk about weapon balancing issues, specifically with sniper rifles, which I'm sure will be a controversial issue. Uh, they detailed some changes they made from Modern Warfare 3 to Call of Duty Ghosts, and I'll quote them here. No aim assist from the hip, which was a huge part of how quick scoping worked in previous games. Players now have to aim unassisted until fully scoped in. Hip fire reticles for sniper rifles were removed and hip fire spread was increased dramatically. Uh, the quick draw perks aim down sight speed scale was reduced significantly for sniper rifles. So all these changes were made from Modern Warfare 3 to Call of Duty Ghosts, but what are you gonna do in Call of Duty Ghosts to address the quick scoping issue? And what they're saying moving forward, they are testing some changes that are going to address the time to kill for sniper rifles versus other weapons. And these changes are a reduction in the flinch benefit of the focus perk which i think is a big big deal uh because it sucks that when i'm put i've put three or four bullets into a sniper and he's able to just quickly zoom in uh easily get me into focus and one shot me that you know it just doesn't feel right it doesn't feel fair uh an increase in the overall ads time that should dramatically reduce the amount of quick scoping in the game and sniper rifles with a silencer are being changed to a chest up kill instead of a waist up kill so it It'll take a little more skill to get a one-shot kill with a sniper rifle. All of these changes, uh, to me, sound pretty good. The ADS time, I think, is the biggest change. With uh, Whenever you change the ADS time on a sniper rifle, you're really affecting who can use it as a quick scoping tool and who can't. The higher that ADS time is, uh, the more difficult it is to use it for quick scoping. So we'll have to see how these changes will actually affect gameplay. But overall, I think these are some pretty solid changes and I look forward to seeing them implemented. Next up, they confirm that they are looking at hackers and cheaters. They recommend that anybody who runs into either of these people uh, should immediately report them. They are banning people. Uh, I've run into quite a few people who ha seem to have all the perks all the time. And also I've noticed that some people have maximum prestige level, but only about a thousand kills to their name. So it would appear that hacking and cheating are prevalent in this game. And it's good to see that Infinity Ward is addressing that. They'll also be making a change to the amount of squad points your soldiers earn. For ranks 1 through 5, each rank will now give you 5 squad points, increased from the usual 2 squad points that your soldiers used to earn. So each squad member that you take to level 5 will actually gain you 25 squad points, which will make it much easier to unlock new guns, new attachments, new equipment in the early stages of building your squad member out. They are also looking at a large potential change to operations. For instance, they are looking to increase XP rewards for completing operations, and they say there's more to come in that area. So I look forward to operations earning me more XP. It takes an awful long time to prestige at this point and to level up a character. Uh, however, I don't want it to be too quick because, you know, I do play this game for a full year, and I'd like to uh, have kind of the metagame stuff last me all year. So we'll see what they do to this. Hopefully they don't change it so much that it makes leveling up too quick, but I wouldn't mind seeing it happen just a little bit quicker. They're also looking to add some more loadouts to the infected game mode, uh, which will be sure to please a lot of infected players. 
Last but not least, they're actually going to introduce a new game mode to Call of Duty Ghosts, and it's going to be called Heavy Duty. And the only change to this game mode is that players are going to have increased health. So if your main complaint with Call of Duty Ghosts right now is that you die too quickly, this is going to be the game mode for you. I'm really looking forward to checking this out. I do definitely think that the skill gap will be increased by a Heavy Duty game mode. I'm really looking forward to playing this one. I want to see what the changes will be with the sniper rifles will they still be a one-shot kill will shotguns still be a one-shot kill how many shots will it take with specific guns in specific situations i think it'll really change things up it'll be the like the difference between standard and hardcore but kind of in the opposite direction i'm really looking forward to this one i think it'll be a lot of fun uh there'll definitely be more chances to turn on people who have already started shooting at you uh, accuracy will be a very big deal in this game mode I, i'm really looking forward to this one tell me what you guys think about all these changes i know that snipers are going to be really upset about this i'm really excited about uh the increase in squad points for the first five levels also earning the uh xp a little bit faster could potentially be a benefit we'll have to see how that plays out i definitely don't want the meta game to end too quickly since i do play the game for the entire year so this is a ton of changes tell me what you guys think about all this stuff in the comments of this video Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.